Rescues continue from flooding in Texas and Louisiana. CNN reports as many as 37 people are dead from Harvey. This morning we've learned a chemical plant northeast of Houston exploded. This is something the company expected to happen because there was no refrigeration of those chemicals it stored. Coastal communities in Port Arthur and Beaumont, Texas got flash flooding yesterday when the storm made a second landfall. 32,000 people are now in shelters. The rains have moved out, but it's going to be a long time before people find home again. It's like right now you got somewhere to sleep, but you don't know where you're going after you leave here. And that's the hardest part for me. Among those found dead, two grandparents and their four grandchildren found inside that van there that got swept away by floodwaters. More than 1,300 people have been saved so far, thanks to the National Guard, Coast Guard, and volunteers. We'll take a look at this dramatic rescue by an Air National Guard helicopter in Houston. That's a newborn baby on the other end of that rope. The family's other child was saved as the rescue crew got all those people to safety. We're seeing more people forming human chains to make rescues in flooding. This group saved an older man who was trapped in his car. He was being swept away and sinking fast. Someone was able to pry the door open and 